YouTube, we're going to look at um, how to detect if we're in a call or not and the type of call if we are um, with Macrodroid. So let's have a look at what we're doing. Now, I'll give you the link to this, but there's a macro called In Call. Um, it's on the store, but I'll, I'll give you the link. So I'm just working on my copy. Um, so what happens is this macro sets in call, which is a variable, to false and call type to empty. So it doesn't detect call straight away. That is because um, we don't want it to give you the wrong result. So if I don't clear these variables, what happens is it says that I'm in a call and then says the call's empty, for example. Um, that's incorrect data. We don't want that. So what happens is set the variables to false and empty so that it's clear. And then it tests each of these conditions. And each of these conditions is a different type of call. And that obviously that returns a value then. So the first one it checks is WhatsApp calls. Um, the way that WhatsApp's stealing people's data these days, that's probably not going to last long, but I'll leave it there anyway because I still have to use it. So, you know, that's that's a thing. Anyway, so what happens is it's got a notification that's present that says ongoing because what happens is when there's a call that's ongoing, it says ongoing and then well, whether it's a video call or a, a voice call um, that information's not returning just yet um, If the thing is with that is if you're in a video call you know that you're in a video call so there's not much point adding it but I mean if you want it add in I'll add it that's fine but it just picks up any call at the moment when it says call type it's variable is set to whatsapp call and obviously in call is set to true. The next one it checks is messenger calls. So it checks to see if tap to return is in the notification. And if it isn't, it moves on to check the next one. If it is, then it is. Um, if in call, I believe that is just its own built-in constraint let's speak. yeah it is that's macro droids constraint itself so it's saying normal call um, and then setting it to true in call notification um, for telegram call it's saying is the call got call in it and that's telegram and this one is Microsoft Teams meeting is seeing if the word meeting is in the notification. Uh, I haven't fully tested Telegram and Teams. They seem to work, but aren't fully tested. Give it a go and see how you get on. Um, I'm going to add Discord at some point, I think, because... That's the way things are going and signal, but I don't have enough contacts on signal to use that to ring just yet uh, to get that result. So now what happens is if you press the top right corner dots and then press variables, there are two variables that are involved in this call type and in call. So these are the two that you need to be um interested in so how do we use it well I have a power saver and I'm going to show you that that's how it's let's have a look no you know what we're going to build a fresh macro let's do this so I'm just uh, let's do this uh, got on the blue, we're going to add an action. It's going to say run macro or macro run. And we're going to say in call, which is here. 
press OK. Um, the most important thing to tick here is wait to complete. You can always run it, and that's probably recommended, particularly for those that have loads and loads and loads of macros, because some people turn certain macros off at night. Um, and if it's based on category, and it turns out that in call is in a category that gets turned off, it won't run. So, I mean, it's totally up to you. But if you've experienced in any bugs, come back and tick this to always on. Constraints are on any. Just keep ignored, ticked, it's fine. Press OK. So we're going to run the macro. It's going to see if we're in a call. Then what you need to do is... It depends on if you want the macro to run if they're in a call or if you're not. That's dependent on what you're doing. So what we're going to do is press the plus button in this case. An if statement and then plus to add a condition. And then search VA to find variable. Um, if and then I'm going to do in call. If in call is false then press OK and then in your if statement you can do whatever you're doing so we're going to add an action and I'm just going to put pop up or should we do dialogue instead let's do dialogue and then I can just fill it with dots uh, the title and then I'm going to display the variable so it's going to be var in call and then let's put a comma and then space you can put whatever you want so I'm just doing this as an example call type and then oh there won't be one will there because it's false silly me oh, look I've just taken the bracket off by mistake let's turn the sound off because it's scary sometimes isn't it press ok um Oh, it didn't add it in the if statement. I don't know what I've done there. doesn't matter. What we're going to do is press the little um, arrows and then drag and drop. Here we go. So if in call is false, it's just going to say false because in call will return false. So let's test that. Yeah, false. That's fine. Press three dots in the corner and save. Oh, look, I haven't given it a name. save changes that's a new feature by the way some people might have seen it and some people won't have seen it press the three dots and then press save changes oh look there isn't any changes just now but that's what we did a second ago so it's going to return false and then we can do else so add else and then press else if and put add action above and then put Dialogue. Well, you don't have to do dialogue. You can do whatever action you want, but let's just do dialogue. And then um, call type. Uh, turn the sound off for, for now. And then do that. Again, three dots. Save changes. Right, three dots again and test actions. And it's saying false because I'm not in call. So if I go back, or well, let's save again, and go to variables, and do call, type word call, it just shows these two, um, change it to true, and I'm just going to make it up, because I'm not making a call at the moment, I might just put WhatsApp for now, and I go back, and I go... Back into the last macro we edited, you press the home screen. This is a new tile as well. Say last opened macro. That's new. So um, what well, has been in MacroDroid two or three versions, but make sure to keep MacroDroid up to date. Now I'm just gonna turn this off because I don't want it to run. 
at the moment because what will happen is I'm not in a call so it will reset the variables. So I'm just going to go three dots and then test actions and it hasn't displayed the call type. Oh it has displayed the call type but not the call in call true. That's because I told it not to do that. We can do this look configure and then slide that and then the reason was because we didn't need to do it, did we? Um, in call. And then space. Type. Uh, it doesn't matter what you write here, it's fine. Save. Save it again. Test actions. There we go. Yeah, that's how that works. So, enable this again, and then save and test actions, false. So, you use, you, the basic principle is, if you want to know if you're in a call or not, in order to trigger um, certain actions, then you put macro run and in call. And then use if statements to catch the variables. So, for example, um, if I had, well, I have a macro that if I press the long, long press the volume down button and the screen's off, it makes a call. However, if I'm already in a call, I don't want it to cut the call off that I'm already in. So I would want if I would want to cancel the macro if I was in a call so I can put cancel macro instead of the display dialog. Or if I wanted to be in a call and take action, I would put it in the else statement. So I'm hoping that's useful to you. Um, just let me know if you get stuck and I'll sort it out. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.